what's up i said i was gonna do an intro but i don't even really know what to do so i just put this in the video and like you know what i'm saying yeah introduce me for me yeah so mayo or b formerly known as b diddle was one of my friends who hasn't really been in my videos since i sounded like this screen's probably my favorite part. he has his own channel which is in the description where he plays some cool layouts and makes some levels and overall just does whatever he really wants uh yeah First things first, I'm gonna start talking about nine circles. So I really like this level because it has a lot of wave in it. And that's the only game mode I'm good at. The reason why I, my wave level is my hardest level that I've beaten is because I'm good at wave. I can't do anything other than wave, which is why I love it so much. It lets me beat hard levels, but I don't have to think they're hard because they're easy. In conclusion, I really like the gameplay because I love wave as I think you already have figured that out. And I like the nine circles style because my eyes work and I think they're gonna work for a very long time. So I don't need to be worried about that. I do absolutely hate the first ship, however. I just hate nine circles ship gameplay. It's never fun. But yeah, that's that's kind of my whole thing for the first level. Thank you for Lenny for having me. And you'll see me in a minute when he talks about Jawbreaker. And we back this time we're talking about a jawbreaker and right now currently at the state of recording this it's my hardest demon and when i'm recording this i've beaten it like five hours ago a good <laughs> cut that part out or don't it might be funny i don't know anyway it's my hardest demon right now and i fluked it it took me like very few attempts so i don't think it's actually that hard because it has wave so basically the first cube is actually super fun once you get once like you know how to do it I didn't know how to do it. I just kind of wung it every single attempt. Then the ship is eh, but the last like three saws right before you get into the ball are super annoying. I've died there so many times. Put a picture of it and then put like a, like a, what's it called? Like a mad emoji over top of them because it makes me mad. Then the ball is actually my favorite part, except for the wave, whatever. But it, it's really fun. It, it doesn't take a lot of memorization, you just need to know where to go, and then you can just do it, and it's not hard. And I love it. And then you do the little the transition, the you know what I'm saying? Um, and then you get into the wave, and the wave is literally the most fun thing in the world when it works. And it, like, there's not a lot of parts, but some of it, you just, it's really particular about where you have to like release, and it gets, it just gets kind of annoying. But if you know what you're doing, it's so fun and then i really like the ending how there's no cue part at the end of it like you know how nine circles has the ending that's really nerve-wracking jawbreaker doesn't have that and that's why i love it so much because i don't have to worry and that's how i beat it without dying at the end because there was no worry so yeah that's kind of my whole opinion i love the level it's nice the decoration again is awesome i like the blue coloring the gameplay's fun because it's wave it's longer it has a bunch of wave like a 70 percent wave and yeah i'm kind of talking a lot right now so I'm going to go ahead and end it off here. Thank you for watching the video. Subscribe to me. I'll be linked in the description. Yeah, then I'll be I'll be beating Fish Base next. That's right. It's an extreme demon. And it's a wave of so it'll be easy. Yeah, so thanks to Mayo for helping out with the video. And yeah, you should go check him out. His stuff's in the description. Heist is currently one of my favorite levels, mostly due to its art style and insane amount of references. The parts all flow into each other really well, and for once, the DGC paths are all part of the story. I love multiple path levels, and having made one, I can say they take a lot of effort. Smitten seems to execute this style perfectly, using tons of backgrounds and lots of depth to really sell the theme. Smitten also includes tons of references everywhere, using the city as a canvas for so many different references. From Molpan Market, Rob Top Inc., Optical Orphanage, and Jam Attack Jail. I love the way the colors in this level work, too. I have a hard time pulling off a modern level with glow, but Smitten does it seamlessly. The pacing on this level is also extremely well done, although the ending is rather forgettable. The parts all before it are super fast-paced and work really well with the song. Smitten does a really good job with world building, and he uses the city style with lots of tiny details to sell the theme really well. Overall, Heist is one of my favorites as of right now, mostly due to its detail and very unique art style. Wrong Warp by Split72 is a very simple level, but it's one of the best executed I've seen in a while. The way the level works with the song is near perfect, and the visuals match the energy of the song perfectly. The introduction uses color very well to start off the level, and the transition through the block and the ball part is a near perfect representation of the song. The backgrounds, while simple, also fill the level and add a little bit of movement. As usual, Splits rely on both pulses and gameplay to help their levels, and this is a prime example. The pulses work perfectly with every instrument in the song, and the gameplay is simplistic and sight readable, yet creative at the same time. Split somehow manages to 
make good gameplay without perfect click sync, and along with the song in the background, it works very well. Overall, this is one of my favorite levels from Split as of right now. EXG by Grax is both my current hardest and one of my favorite demons. Its design is experimental and unique, yet works perfectly with the jarring mechanical sounds in the song. The gameplay is partially memory, but is still completely fair, and while not perfectly balanced, the level has a lot of progression and feels very climactic. The ending is by far the easiest part to learn, but by no means easy. My favorite parts are the UFO at the end, since it's fun to play and sync so well, and the wave at the drop, since it's so hard to learn, but so fun to play once you master it. The gameplay is the highlight of the level, but the decoration is very well done too. The level is mostly red, but uses hints of purple to make parts memorable, and becomes more colorful as it gets harder. The final couple of parts are very colorful, before leading into a beautiful end screen to cap everything off. This is currently one of my favorite demons I've beaten, and is very fun to play for anybody looking for a low and insane demon. Mm -hmm.